The Tom Tom Club, Genius of Love. Definitely some synth elements in here. Uh, some cool little funk uh, riffs, though, for guitar. And I'll even get the bass in here for you. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just play each section, just play right through them uh, at the top here. Um, afterwards, I'll go back through, give you a little bit more of a guided walkthrough on the details going on. Uh, before we get to all that, pretty please hit that subscription button, help out the channel, be uh, much appreciated. Uh, all right, and no further ado, let's get into Genius of Love by the Tom Tom Club. So right off the top here, we get the iconic little synth riff that happens. And it's just this really small, tiny little riff. But, you know, once you hear it, you know it's this song. Um, just some uh, staccato little notes here. We come up to high E here on the 10. Just hit a couple of those 10s. All right, just little short notes. All right, hold, rest a moment. We come down, we do 8, 10, and then drop down to a couple 7s. All right, and like I said, you just want them little tiny staccato notes there. All right, and pretty basic, pretty simple. Um, just reel that off a few times. All right, and the main guitar uh, riff progression going on here. It's just these uh, uh, kind of higher octave uh, funk chords here. Um, we're mostly just going to be playing around in this uh, part of a G here, and we want to do that uh, on some 12s here. Go 12 on the D, G, and B here. All right, and even these strums, they're just real short, choppy little strums, all right? You want that funk style. It's clean, just, you know, a staccato strumming here. And uh, so we'll start with just a couple of those strums there on the 12s. All right, just real quick little strums. And then we cut it a moment. Hit it again, and then we just come off of it. Um, we're going to be hitting this G major seven, all right. And it's basically uh, all we're going to do is take that G, slide it to eleven, and keep the twelve on the B and the D, all right. And hit that once. Come back to the twelves, and when we come back to the twelves, we just get that little slide out. So it's like slowly here. Alright, right. so it's just a little trick of getting that switch really quick, and I kind of do it, you know, I do the 12s with just a uh, ring there, and then I'll come off and I'll do that G major 7 part like this, where I do the middle on the uh, 12D, the pointer on the 11G, and the ring on the 12B. Alright. In the second half of this, uh, it just switches to an E minor thing going on here. All right, and we'll do it here at this middle voicing. All right, seven on the A, nine and nine on the D and G, eight on the B. And the strumming on this is the same as the previous part. Just a couple quick strums on that, cut it a moment, hit it again. All right, and then we're just going to come off and just hit the sevens. All right, so we should just bar the sevens. All right, on the D, G, and B. And hit that once, quick, cut it, and then just come back to the E minor here. Okay, the 9 on the D, G, and the 8 on the B. All 
All right? So same strum, we're just kind of like moving to different positions. All right? So let's just do this up to tempo now so you can uh, get the feel of it. All right, once the verse gets going, uh, the guitar shifts a little bit. It's more, more or less just playing around with the uh, G major seven initially, coming back to the G. All right, and you can just uh, keep it pretty loose. Like uh, it's just something like this where start with that G major seven. All right, where we're just doing the 12D, 11G, 12B, and you just want to hit it twice, just something like that. Okay, short little strums, and then hold it a mo just rest a moment. Alright, now we just come to the twelves for the G and just kind of do that same strum. Alright, and we just more or less repeat that. Uh, you can play around with it a little bit. Uh, it's up to you. Kind of try to follow the uh, the rhythm of the vocal, I guess. Um, but for the most part, it's just something like this. Alright, and in the verse, there's a little synth that chirps in there um, towards the second half of the verse. All right, and what it will do is it just skips the first measure, and then it just chirps in at the very end of the second measure. And then it'll skip the third measure, and then chirp in at the very end of the fourth measure. All right, so what it's doing, it's just coming way up here now. Um, what you want to do is hit 15 on the E, and then just do... Uh, Cut it for a moment and then just do a quick 15, 14, 15, 14. Okay. And like I said, that just comes in at the very tail end of the uh, uh, second measure of the second half of the verse. All right. And so we would rest a measure after that. And then it comes up and it does this little bit where we're going to be uh, 15B, 17 to 15. And then just come down, hit the 14E. All right, it's just kind of like a little answer to the, the question that the first one did. Okay. So uh, just this up to tempo now. Okay, and then we get this occasional uh, trippy, trippier sounding synth riff that comes in. And it's kind of got like a, like a stereo effect on it and maybe a little phaser or something on there. Um, just put like some cool effects on it, I guess. But it's just playing around this scale uh, where we're going to be 7th fret on the A, hit a couple times, come down, we do the 6 on the D a couple times, couple 7s, come up to the 9D, drop down to the 7G, to the 9G, and give that a little bend, a little slow half bend there. So slowly that would be something like... Right, and the second part of it just kind of goes part of that way and then just comes back down and goes low. All right, so it would be a couple sevens on the A, sixes D, sevens on the D, back to the sixes D, hit the seven A, and then an open uh, low E. All right. All right, so it's just Playing around in that, in that little scale, it'll go high, give it a little bend, and then it comes back down low. Uh, just get some cool effects on it. Towards the end of the song, we get this little interlude section that comes in. And it's uh, essentially just doing, you know, that G and then to the E minor. But it adds these uh, funny little notes at the beginning of it, um, this uh, funny dissonant sounding thing. Uh, we'll be at the 8 on the A and 9 on the D. Okay, just get that dissonant thing. All right, and we're just going to go from there, bring that down a fret. So we're at 7A, 8D. All right, so we just go from there, down a fret, back to the original spot down a fret, back to the original spot. So 8, 7, 8, 7, 8, all right, on the A with the 9, 8, 9, 8, 9 on the D. All right, so it'd be something like 
that type of deal. And then we would just come up and hit the 12s on the DGB here and slide that out for the G. And then we would just, for the second measure, just kind of rest for a few counts. And then we just hit a quick little E minor, just the nines on the uh, D and G and the eight on the B, just the small part of it there. And just hit it quick and cut it. All right, just to be silly about it. All right, so uh, up to tempo, we have something like this. For the bass, um, what you want to do uh, off the top here is take the bass down to a drop D tuning. Okay. Okay, just take that E down a whole step, get that drop D. All right, and uh, pretty basic here. Um, we're going to come up to fives. We're doing one, two, three at the fives. All right, and then once more, come down to two, back up to five. And then we'll come up to eight. When you hit that eight, slide that out. All right. And then we finish it, switching down here to the E section. Okay, so um, be a few twos. Okay, one more. Open, back to two. All right, and this is pretty basic because you know you get these two measures down, and that's pretty much the bass for the whole song. Okay, so let's get it up to tempo here. Let you hear it. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.